Hey there everyone, meteorologist Carly Smith here. I am back, it is 1229 and we're back live because there has been a flash flood warning that was issued by the National Weather Service. This is for the Rockport area. So this is our view of downtown Corpus Christi. Not seeing as much rain downtown as we're getting through the south side, Flower Bluff, Padre Island, all areas also getting soaked. There's a thunderstorm that's headed for downtown now. So this one is going to go right through downtown, but we're we're seeing the heaviest rainfall. Well, it's where this band is really set up. Now there is a, some good news, not as much rain further to the south. Actually, let's make sure all five of our radars are turned on. Yeah, so there is some weaker uh, energy to our south. So we're getting the heaviest of rain moving through right now. Rockport, you still have a few hours. Let's see how fast this is moving. Um, so right now, let's see. This is over an hour. So we've got, this is a storm. We've got this right here is a storm. So the second one is already way up here. So the other one's gonna be out of the screen. So we'll time this out. In an hour, this is moving about 40 miles an hour. So essentially what that's going to do, I do have the volume on, right? Yes. Good afternoon. How long till uh, it gets to downtown? Well, it's approaching now as we speak um, on the south side of downtown. Some heavy rain starting to show up on radar near downtown. Let's turn just the Corpus Christi radar back on. So yeah, we're starting to see some of that rain hitting downtown. Uh, lightning probably being heard, especially along uh, Saratoga and Yorktown and SPID getting there. So we're starting to get the storm moving toward downtown. Again, these are moving 40 miles an hour. So that's what it's set to. That puts it in downtown Corpus Christi, 1237. So that's just about less than six minutes away. Uh, we'll be at the Spawn Hospital, 1241, Whataburger Field, 1243. So those are a good idea of when downtown will get hit. It likely will scrape uh, kind of right along Crosstown into downtown. Now let's talk Aransas County. That's where this flood warning is. So we've got the flash flood warning that is in place for Rockport, Aransas Pass, Ingleside. This whole area is under the flash flood warning until 2.15, right? A lot of lightning, heavy rainfall in this region. So um, what I was timing out was how long the rain is going to last for Rockport. So if we put this time on the end of the steady stream of rain through Rockport, that has it moving out of Fulton by 1.53. This flash flood warning is until 2.15. When the water falls, it's got to go somewhere, so that extends past when we expect the rain to end, but that is what we are looking at. Good afternoon, rain stopped in Aransas Pass, uh, much cooler now. There's more rain potentially on the rain way there in Aransas Pass, so you might have a break now. Well, it might skirt just to your north. You're like just north of where the rain is, or just south of where the rain is, and to the east of where the rain is. But if we put this in motion, so you see the rain leaving, everything's moving a little bit north. So it might, this shower might skirt back through Aransas Pass. So I wouldn't say you're totally in the clear. Lots of heavy rainfall. They might extend this warning a little bit north from Portland uh, and include Portland and Gregory. But I know this area, if you live in the Aransas Pass area, Ingleside, uh, and you have flooding pictures, you can send those uh, to Carly Smith WX Facebook page. You also, um, let's see, on our website, there's a way to submit photos. I don't remember how to do that, but you can send it uh, to carcsmith at ktriplitv.com. That is my email address, color the weather at ktriplitv.com. That's another email address that comes to me as well. So 
Anyway, this is what we are dealing with. It's the rain, mostly along the coast. If you're in Alice, Orange Grove, Mathis, Sinton, any of these areas watching, then you're probably like, well, doesn't include me. Uh, but we're getting a lot of that heavy rainfall moving through Corpus Christi as well. So lots of heavy rainfall tracking through Corpus Christi, not the heaviest of rain. We'll take a look at those rainfall totals. So this is over the last three hours, which is about when the rain started. Let's see if it'll draw on the map. Yes, so it was about during the 10 o'clock hour. When we continue this, so from 10 to 1235, so that's really been about two hours worth of rainfall, right? So within two hours, we have seen Rockport, well, that's the wrong query tool. This is supposed to be, oh, you know what? It's because we have the warning on there. So again, we do have this flash flood warning that lasts until Sorry, I'm trying to figure out where to move this, where it makes the most sense. Okay, flash flood warning is until 2.15. So 2.15 p.m. is when that flash flood warning is set to expire. Now we're going to turn the warning off, and we're going to take a look at some of the rainfall totals. So I'm going to adjust this back to where we can also see Corpus Christi. And so through the Rockport Fulton area, we are getting some rainfall estimated totals around two inches in spots one to two inches. So one to two inches fell within one, two hours. We still are expecting rain over the next, what time did we time that out to? Uh, I believe it was over at least the next, it was like at least until 1.30. So over the next hour, we're still expecting this rain to the south that has produced around a half an inch or so uh, across Corpus Christi mostly Flower Bluff area and south side, but we're expecting that to continue to fall over this area. So an additional one inch or so is going to be possible over the Rockport Fulton area specifically. So you're kind of the target for some of this super heavy rainfall <clears throat> that we will be seeing. So a lot of rain falling in a short amount of time. That's what leads to flash flooding, right? And that's what we want you to be aware of. Um, I don't know if I can log into NWS chat on this computer or not. I might borrow Kristen's access to chat. So shout out to meteorologist Kristen Waller for having it set up on here. But I just want to see if we're getting any reports from uh, area law enforcement in the region or so forth. We just have the flood warning that's been issued. Um, issuing a flash flood, seeing reports of minor flooding with training storms, soils already saturated. So that's why we are really concerned with this flood warning. Again, also while you're watching, our flood watch has been extended till 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. So we're gonna ex check that out. We also still have the dense marine fog that's taking place along our coast as well. So dense marine fog is extended until 1 p.m. So they shortened that actually since I last published that information. And then the flood watch is extended until 6 a.m. They also included more coastal bend counties. So Live Oak has been added, uh, Jim Wells has been added, and Duval County have all been added to the flood watch that we are expecting. So when we take a look at the uh, estimated rainfall totals for tonight, it does look like B County, Live Oak County, these areas are going to get in on some of the heavier rain, the one inch, two isolated two inches. Uh, we'll see some of the heavier rainfall with this system right along the coast where we just got the rain, could see some higher end totals as well. When we take a look 
at FutureCast. I'm just going to show you the close-up version of the her. Not that one. I haven't updated it since my last live update. But right here, so it's not doing the best job of initiating what we're seeing right now, right? But I still think we get a break as what essentially, if you watched my last Facebook update, you saw an area of low pressure and that slides off the coast. And so that's what's happening now. And so I think we still clear out a little bit overnight, but another round of heavy rainfall is set to move in. You can see that uh, thunderstorm. This would be our strongest severe thunderstorm north of us. That could shift a little bit further south, but you see that moving through into the overnight hours. And that's going to be when the cold front actually pushes through. Temperatures kind of fall from the mid 60s down into the 50s behind that front. So not a super strong front, but it is going to dry us out and we'll see clearer conditions heading into our Thursday. And by clear, I mean less rain and less fog. This cold front will clear the fog out also. But I'm gonna go back to radar and do just a quick recap and then we'll get off unless the National Weather Service issues any more updates. But I want everyone to be aware that there is the flash flood warning that is for Aransas County and San Patricio County. What this warning includes is going to be Southwestern Aransas County, Northeastern Nueces County, and Southeastern San Patricio County. Local law enforcement is reporting some of the flooding. Two inches have already fallen in spots. Rainfall rates two to three inches within an hour. Uh, and so um, low-lying areas, areas you know don't drain properly, that's what you want to avoid. The cities included um, do include Rockport, Ingleside, Aransas Pass, Ingleside on the Bay, Palm Harbor, Key Allegro, Cupano Village, and Fulton. So all of these areas are under the flood warning until 2.15. That's going to wrap this live update for now up. We will come back on as needed, of course, throughout the day and overnight with the more rain coming in. And thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. I am meteorologist Carly Smith. That is it for now.